be blue. The Darwin Award is given to the person who does the most for the human race by removing themselves from the gene pool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> In other words, they're so stupid that it's beneficial to the human race that their genes not get passed on. <laughs> That's a lot of people like that these days. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember the, the runner-up, yeah, runner-ups in, in, in some years, I uh, remember some of the runner-ups. Uh, one of the runner-ups uh, stuck his arm all the way up inside a Coke machine trying to steal a Coke and wound up pulling the machine down on top of himself. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, he killed himself? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. For the most part, that's how you you, uh, you, get, on the, you get on the list for the Darwin Award. You got oh, to gotta be dead. Uh, but there, it, I remember one exception. There was one exception. Uh, that the guy, sounds kind of mean, though. Oh, my gosh. The, the, the exception was a, a man who decided to wash his testicles in in, uh, in the uh, ball washer at a golf course, the thing that washes golf balls. I don't even know what it looks like, but okay. doesn't well, sound good. Yeah, he, he put his testicles in there it, 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 to, it to wash his balls. And, uh, well, it ripped them off completely. Oh, my God. Uh, although really? He, although he lived. Oh, my God. Although he lived, he made runner-up on, uh, uh, on the list because he did remove himself from the gene pool. He was never going to have kids. That's that's the only exception to dying that I remember. Oh my god! Uh, but now the winner up of the only only year I can remember uh, the winner up of uh, the the winner drank poison. Jumped, jumped off a cliff. It, 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 jumped off, uh, off a cliff uh, with a rope tied around his ne uh, neck to hang himself. Oh God! And pulled the trigger to shoot himself as he uh, 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 as he fell. Oh, so this one was so he tried. To kill he himself. tried to kill. He tried to kill himself using poison, hanging, and shooting all at the same time. And it all worked. He missed with the shot. Oh, he God. hit the rope, breaking the rope. Okay. He fell into frigid water, which made him vomit up the poison. Oh, my gosh. But he still died of hypothermia. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> I wasn't going to laugh on that one because I don't laugh when people try to kill themselves or commit suicide. But... All his I'm attempts at suicide so failed, but he died of hypothermia. I'm trying so hard not to laugh. So he drank poison. Poison didn't work. Right, because he vomited he hung it up. Himself. That it, didn't work because the because, shooting. Because when he shot at himself, oh he gosh. missed and hit the rope, and, and, and the rope broke. So he fell inside that water. But he the water fell wasn't into the frigid the water. water. The water wasn't a plan before. No, the water. I, I, I don't know if he planned on dying in, of hypothermia in the water, but the water made him. Uh, the water, uh, the water, him. water made him vomit up the poison. Oh, the water made him vomit the poison. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the poison didn't kill him. The, the, the shot didn't kill him. The rope didn't kill yeah, him. The rope didn't kill him. But the, fr else. the freezing water did. He succeeded one way or the other. I think. One way or another, he succeeded. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, 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 there was only one year I read all of the runners up and the winner of the Darwinian Award. That was. Uh, and I can't, Why are they that, giving all these people remember. awards, though? The Darwinian Award is given to the person who does the most for the human race by removing themselves from the gene pool. Jesus. <laughs> Our species is improved by having them removed and not contributing any more of their genes to the, uh, 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 to the species. 
<laughs> and that's something. <laughs> My lady is out. It was just a second ago I was saying, hello, Karen. She's out. They're both out. No, but if you, if you read some of the ways in which these people lied, it was like... <laughs> The, the level of stupidity it took to it, it, for it, for them to die like they did. Hey guys, this is Sarah, and that's Jim over there. He's driving. Hi, I'm Jim. <laughs> He's driving. We're that's headed, Sarah. We're, we're headed to Orlando right now. Is that where we're going? Yeah, we're about an hour from Orlando. Oh. Usually we're an hour drive. We go to Orlando a lot, you know, so. We're headed out to Orlando right now. Let's I'm glad you told me. <laughs> you knew we were going to Orlando. You didn't know we were going to Orlando. We always go into Orlando for one thing or the other. Always. Yeah, it'd be so much easier if we just lived there. But leave. then we wouldn't be 10 minutes from the beach. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because where we leave, in fact, the funny thing is when I first got here and, um, you know, Jim took me to his place and all, I was like, what the heck? Chai, we were just come out Lagos. You bring me come this guy, you know? Oh my, what do you call it? Suburbs? Is it suburbs. suburbs? Suburbs. I was like, hell no. No, 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 no. Not for me, man. <laughs> Not for me. Ha. From Lagos. If you've been to Lagos or if you've been to any busy city, you know? Surulere. Surulere, yeah. <laughs> you got this Surulere thing. Go put for server. What? I was like, no, no, no. Not this village. I was like, this is a village. This one, a village. How'd you say, Sadie, babe? Daytona Beach is a village. Daytona Beach is the village, not be me and you. I remember, I, I, I remember when we, we traveled, when, right after we got married, we, we traveled all over. We, we went, um, we visited a friend of mine in Louisiana. We drove up to visit a sister, uh, one of my sisters in Ohio. And as we were coming over the rise in Kentucky, at, at, at the border, right before the river, oh, yeah. and, and, and the light, it, it was, it, it was, it, it was sunset, and you could uh, you could see the lights of Cincinnati. Absolutely, Cincinnati, you could see the lights of Cincinnati, Ohio, on the other side of the river from Kentucky. And she saw those lights, and she was like, "Now that's a city." Yeah, Daytona like, Beach is a village. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hated it when I first came. I'm not gonna lie. I she was always like threatening to break people's left legs, all, all their left legs. <laughs> it was so, it was just like, full of Every, Everybody was a cow. Ah, this, this look city, at this cow. This cow. <laughs> no, it's just because sometimes people, you know, in Nigeria now, when you're driving, people run, you know, they run out of the way. It's like, when you're coming off, you know, like, you know, a street walk or something, you know? If somebody's walking, like they're trying to cross the road, they run. This one, they'll just be taking their time. So, you know, just relax it. I'm like, come on, walk up for road, Jeff. I break your two left leg. <laughs> In America, the, uh, the pedestrian always the pedestrian always has the right of way. Correct. correct. And some people are, are are just so bold about that. They, they're like daring you to hit them because they know it, no matter how stupid they're being, you're in the wrong if you hit them because, well, they had the right of way they're to super, walk across yeah, the street. Yeah, they super Because even me, even till today, how many years later since I've been to, in this country, if, you know, I'm crossing, you know, be it just Walmart, you know, just crossing right there where cars are. I run. And I tell my kids, you better run. And the reason I run is not because, you know, I don't want to relax and just chill and be like, okay, I'm no longer in Nigeria, I'm in America. The reason is because you don't know who's driving, you know, you don't know if the person is sleepy, you don't know if they're drunk, you don't know if they're just crazy that day. No so, they need to be half a mile. Keep yeah, going. so yeah, I just west. take everybody like, you know what, I don't trust you, I'm just going to run and get out of your way, you know? Yeah, and I tell my kids, just run. It's not just, it's not you, it's just you don't know what that person's frame of mind is, you know? 
Right. There are a thousand reasons why somebody why somebody might intentionally or accidentally run you down. Oh yeah. When you when you cross in that road, so if you know. I wouldn't take the chance. Continue I mean, if you're suicidal, your life means nothing to you. Yeah, go ahead and take the risk. But you, know, you might have the right of way, but that car, that, I can't the, get the, off. <laughs> yeah, the, those, that, that two to six tons of steel does not care about your right of way. Yeah, I, I get out of the way, you know, I don't be strolling. But yeah, I did not like Daytona Beach, guys. I didn't like it at all. It was too quiet for me. i had been a city girl for a long time. You know, I'd lived in Lagos for quite a while after moving, you know, from Cameroon, from Tuala to Lagos. And I just like that crazy, busy noise, you know, everywhere. The funny thing is I've actually grown to enjoy this whole, you know, laid back quiet you know now that's why we go to orlando a lot you know we go to orlando it's busy crazy and then we come right back right yeah so it, it, it's kind of a win-win situation and um we get all the city we want in orlando and then we can relax without worrying about all the city problems correct 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 now that was it when i first got here i was like what no way there's no way but, but back then, we, we couldn't go anywhere, you know? It, it wasn't even an option. Jim would tell you, it, it wasn't even an option of going anywhere because his kids were younger. And the youngest right. was like 14. And, you know, it, so that was, there wasn't any option of just going anywhere, you know? Jim had to stick around for his kids, so. We, we, yeah. And then as time just went on, I just got used to it too. So, you know, it wasn't wasn't that big of a deal like I made it out to be when I first got here. Now all the kids are grown and, and, and moved away, so wouldn't even... They, yeah. It, it, only, only a couple of them occasionally have time for daddy. Yeah. Jim's a good daddy. He, Jim, 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 you know, you, which, which, which woman, you know, if you carry Jim go anywhere, say, begin, try, you know, they go nowhere. So, which is superb, you know? superb he wanted to be there he was gonna be there for his kids and all so you know but like I said I got used to it as well you know so we're still we're still there <laughs> but at first when I got here no I didn't like it at all but yeah we are in Orlando now that's set day let me show you that set day Hi guys, we've come to the end of this video. Let us know in the comment section below. Would you rather live in a city or a village? At this point in my life, I think I'd rather take a village. More village. peaceful. Village. Village life. More peaceful. It's for the yeah, peace, though. The cave out in the woods. The cave out in the woods. As long as it has internet for him. Yes. Yes, high speed internet. It has to have high speed internet. <laughs> <laughs> if there's no high speed internet, Jim is not going. If he has internet, Jim doesn't care uh, where he goes. He does not care. It's got to do with age, right? Is it something to do with age? You calm down, you stop wanting the excitement. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.